What's up guys? I'm Alex from Boards Bikes and Bikes and today I'm going to show you how to get your snowboard ready for the off season. Your snowboard is a pretty expensive investment so you want to take care of it and put it away properly so the next season comes out with no rust spots, everything looks good, and it's ready to go. So first thing you want to do is take the bindings off. And I'm actually going to take my bindings and wash them off separately in the tub because all the uh, I don't really know what is in the man-made snow, but it leaves like a salt stain kind of like film on the snowboard and bindings. And it's, I mean, you can see it, it's on my top sheet pretty good. And so I want to get all that off the bindings just so that there's no rust or anything like that. As you can see, got a whole lot of just like crap on the top sheet. Now I'm gonna take a wet paper towel and just try to wipe all that off and get it off of here. Dirty wax. That is from the rails. This is also why I like doing it in the garage. So when I get done, into the floor. I can sweep it up later. So after I got all the old wax off, I just like to take this little kind of brillo pad to take my kit and wipe it all off just so it's all on the floor and not on the snowboard. So the next thing you want to do is put the new wax on the snowboard. I like to go around the whole perimeter and then zigzag up and down and then I'll start smearing it in. I love the smell of snowboard wax. And we get the zigzag action. Ah, oh, I got it on my hand. Last time. Massage it out towards the 
pages. So much better. Nice, clean, fresh layer of wax. Now, ordinarily, when you would wax your snowboard, you'd want to go on and scrape off, have it nice and smooth to go snowboarding again. But since we're storing it, I like to leave all the extra wax on there. So that way, over the whole off season, it's got a nice, thick, protective coating. It'll help keep it moist and not let it dry out. And then that way, when next season rolls around, all you got to do is scrape it. So after you get a nice, good layer of wax on there, the only thing left to do is, you know, put it in your preferred method of storage. Um, if you all have any questions or anything, please leave them in the box down below and I'll try to get back to you and I'll see you the next one soon.